Hey everybody, this is Paul. Welcome to Lesson 21 in the Intermediate Algebra Playlist. So in this tutorial I'm going to be discussing some simple yet important properties of algebra. And the first property is the multiplication property of 1. And it simply tells us that any number multiplied by the number 1 is equal to the number we started with. So the inverse property of multiplication is the other one. And it says that if we have any number a, and we multiply that by 1 over a, then the result of that is simply equal to 1. So how can we use these simple properties to our advantage? Well, first let's realize that a right here can be rewritten as a divided by 1. And so then we're just going to rewrite the rest of this. And so now we have a multiplication problem of fractions. And when you multiply fractions, you can take the numerator times the numerator, and then put that over the denominator times the other denominator. So this simply becomes a times 1 over 1 times a, and that equals 1. And now we basically have both the numerator and the denominator in this form right here. And so from the multiplication property of 1, we see that a times 1, or 1 times a, is simply equal to a. So we've shown now between these two properties that the inverse property of multiplication can be rewritten as a over a is equal to 1. So this tells us that any number divided by itself equals 1 and that's probably no big surprise either but I'm trying to just be formal about all this since we're learning the properties. So how can we use this to our advantage now? Well let's say that we have some number, we'll call it, we'll just do 4 fifths and we want to write this fraction 4 fifths in a different form. Well, we can do that by using the multiplication property of 1. So basically, with the multiplication property of 1, 4 fifths would be our a, and we multiply that by a 1, and that says that it equals a, which is our 4 fifths. So now, from here, we're going to choose our 1 to be some a over a from the inverse property of multiplication. So let's just choose, I don't know, 4 over 4. So 4 over 4 equals 1. 4 would be our a. So this becomes 4 fifths times 4 over 4 is equal to 4 fifths. So now we can simply multiply the top together. 4 times 4 is 16. And 5 times 4 is 20, multiplying the denominator together and we have the result 4 fifths. And so from these two properties we we're basically able to take a fraction and show that 16 over 20 is equal to 4 fifths and we did this by manipulating the multiplication property of 1 and the inverse property of multiplication. So these are pretty simple formulas but they're really useful and uh, we can use them to write fractions in a different form. So anyway that's uh, basically what those two properties are in a nutshell. And one other point that I should probably make about this is that when we're using the inverse property of multiplication, we need to make sure that the a, the number we choose, is not zero because that breaks a lot of rules of math to divide by zero. So we just need to make sure that zero is not included as one of our a's, but otherwise this works. So anyway, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for some more tutorials in the Intermediate Algebra playlist. And you guys all have a great day, and if you haven't already, don't forget to subscribe.